Please go to elithecomputerguy.com in order to view schematics, code, and more for the projects that you are learning about. Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do basic folder management within Linux. So I've already shown you how to do things such as rename, copy, and delete files within Linux at the command line. And now I'm going to show you how to do that with folders. More or less, again, this is one of those things you always have to say in Linux, more or less, it's the same as what you were doing with files, but it can be a little bit different. Uh, so one of the things is if you're going to be making making a folder or making a directory, you use the make directory command, mkdir command. So that is how we are going to be able to make directories. But then past that, when we start uh, interacting with those directories, when we're going to be doing things like copying or when we're going to be doing things like deleting uh, directories and folders, one of the things that we have to do is we also have to add what is called the recursive argument or option. So hyphen r. And so what hyphen r does is says, do this to the folder, and everything else within the folder. So this is one of those uh, important things that, that you may get confused about, especially if you're coming from the Windows world. In the Windows world, if you're gonna delete something, you know, you just right click delete. And if it's a folder, it just deletes the folder. It may ask you yes or no, but it just deletes the folder. Here, one of the things that you have to do is you have to add that uh, hyphen R option there. Uh, and that is what is called recursive. And so it will, do, uh, it will do the operation, not only to the folder that you're specifying, but also everything within that folder. So you will see recursive uh, quite a bit in the Linux world uh, when we start dealing with things like file and folder permissions, right? If we're going to be changing uh, permissions for a folder, one of the questions is, is do you want to just do it to the folder itself? Do you want to do it to the files underneath? Uh, that's times that recursive comes up. And so recursive is a concept that you should keep in mind because you will see it later. One of the things we also are going to be using is the uh, F F force argument option, at least for remove. And we're going to use that to force the system to delete everything uh, within the folder. So we do uh, RM, uh, do hyphen RF recursive force, and then whatever the folder is. Uh, and one of the reasons you use the force command is sometimes uh, there, there are reasons within the operating system where the operating system doesn't want to delete, let's say, a specific file that is in a folder. Uh, and so if you don't give the force command, then it will fail out. So by saying force, you're saying do it. I told you to do it and you will do it. Uh, so you do use the force uh, force option. Now, again, uh, when you get more advanced in the Linux administration, you may want to leave that F option out when you're using the remove command uh, just to make sure you don't do something stupid. But in the beginning, hey, you're gonna be doing a lot of stupid things. So you might as well make your life easier when you're doing stupid things. So that force that force option uh, will basically make your life a lot easier when you're trying to delete stuff. So with that, let's go over uh, what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So I'm gonna show you how to make a directory. I'm gonna show you how to move and, uh, and rename a directory. So just like with files where you use the move command, the move command is both to move a file or a folder, but it's also to rename a file or folder. Uh, then we're gonna show you how to do a copy command. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to remove the directory uh, totally using, again, hyphen RF option there. So with that, let's go over to the computer and I can show you how all this works. So here we are at my basic uh, Ubuntu server uh, that I have running within a virtual box, so Ubuntu 18.04.3 LTS. Uh, now all the commands that I show you today should work on any distribution of Linux that you're using. Do you always have to say, should, should. <laughs> it's Linux, oh, it's Linux. But anyways, let us log in. So I have a username of Bob, and I have a password of one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go, we are now logged in. I will clear the screen so it's easier to see. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use that PWD command that is going to show us what folder we are in. So we are in the Bob folder, in the home folder, in the root directory. I'm then going to do a list command to see what files and folders are within this Bob folder. And I can see I have a folder here called folder. So folders are colored uh, blue when you're dealing with the command line generally within Ubuntu. So I know I have that folder. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a new directory. So we're going to make a new folder. And in order to do that, you just simply use the mkdir command. So make directory and then whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we're going to call it new folder. Make directory, new folder. And that is literally it. I hit enter. 
We do ls to list the items within this folder. And we can now see that we have the folder as we had before. And now we have a new folder. So now what I want to do is I want to rename new folder, right? So we've talked about how to rename folders before. Basically, we're going to be using the mv command, just like we would with files. All you do here is you do mv the original file or folder that we're dealing with. So move, new folder, new folder, and we're gonna change it to a new name. So new folder two, so pretty simple. So we're going to basically simply be changing the name of new folder to be new folder two. We are going to hit enter. We then do ls, list the items in the folder. And so now we can see that it is now called new folder two. So that's pretty simple right there, right? Uh, let me do the move command again. So rename it back to what it was. Uh, new folder two, back to new folder, hit enter, do ls, and we can see that we now have a new folder. So that's all that you have to do uh, in order to be able to rename a folder or directory within Linux. So now let's clear the screen again. And so one of the things I want to do now is I actually want to put a file into this folder called new folder so that when we start moving the folder around or we're copying it, uh, you can see what happens when there's actually something within that, that, that folder. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change directory into new folder. So we are now within a new folder. I'm going to use Vim. Again, Vim is the file editor I like to use. Use whatever the hell you want, because apparently this is a huge argument. I like Vim. You use whatever you want. So I'm simply going to use Vim to create a file called test file. So Vim space, whatever the hell you want the file to be. It's going to be created within this folder. I hit enter. I will then simply do colon wq. So what colon does, colon gets you into the command prompt for Vim. So it allows you to start being able to, to give commands to Vim. Uh, then w is write, as in save, and q is quit. So basically what this says is save and quit, because all I want is for this file to be created. I hit enter. I now do ls. And I can see within new folder, there's a, there is a file called test file, all right? So then I'm going to do CD space period period. So we do change directory space period period. What that does is that takes you up one level. So it's gonna take you up one level in the, the file structure. Uh, then I'm going to clear the screen again. So we can clear the screen. I do LS. And so we can see we've got the folder and we've got the new folder here. So what I want to do now is I'm actually going to move new folder with the test file into the folder called folder. I should probably work on my naming conventions here. <laughs> it's, I may not have the best naming conventions. Oh, well, well, what can you say? So we're going to use that move command because again, MV, the move command. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say new folder. So we're here. So basically we do move space and then the folder uh, that we're dealing with. And so you have to put the whole file path. So since I'm in this folder and I can, I can access new folder by just typing new folder, that's, that's all I have to do. So basically move space, new folder, space, and then where am I gonna move it to? So what I wanna do is I wanna move new folder into folder, into folder. So to do that, folder, forward slash, new folder. So what I'm doing is from where I'm at in the file structure, I'm saying go into folder and then move new folder into that folder called folder. <laughs> One of the important things though to remember here is remember that move command is both a move command, actually moving a file, and also a renaming command. So be very careful here because if you if you type the wrong thing, if you fat finger it, um, it's it's gonna come out with the wrong name. So let me let me just do that, right? Let's let's just do fo, right? Let me just completely screw up. So move new folder into folder forward slash new fo. So it's gonna move and it's also going to rename. Hit enter. Right? We don't get any errors. We don't get any problems. We do ls. We can see now we only have folder. A new folder is gone. Let me change directory and new folder. Then let's do ls again. And we have new fo. Right? This is going to be a really big problem. Again, if that folder has configuration files in it, if that's important for the server in order to do whatever the hell it's doing, that is a really easy, 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 easy way to crash your server. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do move mv new fo. So that's currently what the name of it is, space, and then we're just simply going to call it new folder. Uh, so we're going to basically rename new fo to new folder. 
then we're going to do ls, and now we got new folder again. Uh, just to make sure uh, the files and all that moved, you will notice we didn't have to reuse a recursive command for move. Uh, it simply moved uh, everything for us. We can do cd new folder. So we're changing directory into the new folder, then we do ls, and we can see our test file is still there. Uh, so it's cd, space, period, period. This is going to take us up one level in the file structure again. Uh, so we are now currently in the folder. Let me clear this to make it easier to see. And now what we're going to do is we are going to copy the folder. So we're going to create a copy, right? Uh, so let's do, I, I want to show you what happens if you don't use the recursive. So notice, notice when I moved the folder, I did not have to use the recursive argument. I did not have to use the, the recursive option. But if I do copy, so CP, CP is copy. So I'm going to copy new folder uh, to, let's say, new folder dot back, right? Just create a backup file. Again, this is an important thing. Before you start screwing around within an operating system, especially if that server matters, especially if it's a production server, back everything up before you touch anything, back it up. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy, we're copying a new folder, and we're gonna create a basically just a backup folder called uh, new folder dot back. Now, since there is a file within new folder, when I hit enter, what you get is you actually get a decent error here. CP hyphen R not specified, omitting directory at new folder, right? So if we do LS, we can see that we still only have new folder here. So what I need to do is I need to do CP space hyphen R. So this is recursive. Then we're going to say new folder, what we're going to be copying, and the new uh, folder dot BAK, right? So copy hyphen r recursive new folder this is what we're copying and this is the what we're going to be naming the copy and then we hit enter and it goes right through so if i do ls from here we can see we now have new folder and we have new folder dot back so that, that's a good deal right there okay so let's say we go through Oh, we do all of our, we do all the stuff that we're supposed to do. Everything works out. Uh, so we need to get rid of the new folder dot back uh, folder, right? We no longer need the backup. Everything's working properly. Let's get rid of the backup so we don't do something stupid. So now we're going to do the remove command. Basically, this is a way that we uh, delete a folder. Now I will show you again, uh, since new folder dot back has a file in it. So let's just go in there. CD new folder dot back. LS, just to show you, there is a test file in the new folder, uh, dot back folder. Uh, do CD space, period, period. That takes us up one level. Let me clear the screen again. Uh, so now I'm going to remove that new folder dot back. Uh, to do that, to delete, you'd use the RM command. Use the RM command. Now I'm not going to get do any options or arguments here. Again, just to show you the error. Uh, so new folder dot uh, back. So basically remove, this should be delete, new folder dot back. Uh, if I hit enter, can I remove new, uh, new folder dot back uh, is a directory, right? So in order to be able to remove new folder dot back, uh, we'll at least have to use the hyphen R, that recursive option. Um, I will also put in the F. Uh, the force option, just because you can run into some issues sometimes. Again, if a file is being used, especially if you have a large, if you have a, a folder with a lot of stuff in it, um, some things may be you, being used by something, maybe used by a service or something like that, and you may run into problems uh, if you don't use the force uh, option in order to delete the file. So I normally just use hyphen RF. You will have to decide once you become a fancy administrator whether that's how you want to do things. Uh, but I do RM. Then I do hyphen RF, so recursive force space a new folder dot back. And then if I hit enter, yay, so I don't get anything. LS. So now all we have is a new folder again. So basically there, I showed you how to make a directory, MKDIR. I showed you how to copy a directory, uh, or I'm sorry, I'd rename a directory using the move command, MV. I showed you how to actually move a directory using the MV command. I showed you how to copy a, a directory, uh, and I showed you how to delete one. And that's really all there is to the basic uh, folder management within Linux. So there you go, there's basic folder management within Linux. Oh, oh, I'm sure I'm about to start hearing some Linux administrators start screaming at me. I'm sure they're gonna start being really nasty with me.
especially with me saying things like just throw that little force option in there. But again, I want you to understand you're at the introductory level here to Linux. So I'm showing you how to do these things, these commands so that they actually work. Again, it's important. There is difference between learning commands and learning things and then actually doing them in the real world. By the time you get to a production environment, you will understand a lot more of these things uh, and then you will be able to make your own decisions. Again, using, using that force option uh, uh, for your level, I, I think is very good. I think it will make your life a hell of a lot easier. Uh, in the real production world, I might be a little bit more careful with force. I'd, I'd, I'd really, I'd really want to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, it is curious though, again, when you start dealing with the Linux world, uh, seeing when you need options and arguments and when you don't. Again, if you if you want to uh, uh, move a folder, uh, you don't have to use recursive or anything else. You don't have to use the hyphen R. If you want to copy a folder, you do have to use a hyphen R. Obviously, if you have to remove the folder, you have to use a hyphen R. So it is just, it's, a, it's like one of those things that gets a little frustrating because you think, oh, I have to use this when I'm interacting with folders. But it's like, no, some commands you do and some commands you don't. Uh, also, the big thing, again, especially when you are um, moving a folder, do realize the move command and the rename command are the exact same thing. <laughs> So if you fat finger it, if you, oh, if you fat finger an important folder that's uh, that's required for the operation of your server, uh, that may be a dead server about that quick. Everything's going right because like, this is what'll happen. Can I explain to you what'll happen? You'll rename a folder. You'll move a folder. It'll get renamed by accident. You'll plug that information somewhere into a script or something. And everything will be running along fine. To be clear, everything will be running along fine. Because if you have services running, all the configuration files are already within memory. They, they've already been loaded. Uh, so when you screw up with the move and you renamed something, uh, all the configurations are already reloaded. And so the configuration files themselves aren't currently being used. What happens though, is when you restart services or when you reboot the server, obviously when you reboot, that flushes the RAM then all of those services go to look for the configuration files to figure out how they're supposed to configure themselves. And when they go and you screwed up and you fat fingered the move and so you renamed the file or folder to something that it's not supposed to be, they will not be able to find the file or folder that they're looking for. So that means they will not be able to load their configurations, which will mean your server will go <laughs> So. That is one of those things just to really seriously keep in mind when you are moving files and folders. If there's one time you really got to pay attention in the Linux world, really in the Linux world, you always got to pay attention. <laughs> but there's one time you're going to, you know what I'm saying? Like get the extra cup of coffee before you start moving files and folders, get an extra cup of coffee, <laughs> drink it, and make sure you really know what you're doing. Because you can, you can both move and rename a file or folder at the exact same time. And that can just be all kinds of nastiness. Now, again, with all these commands, whether it's CP, MV, make directory, RM, uh, there are other options and arguments that you can use, obviously. So go do a Google search, take a look. Uh, but R, uh, hyphen R, recursive, and hyphen F, force, are the basic ones that you will be using. Um, and yeah, and that's really that's really all there is to it. So uh, with that, um, again, if you're gonna be playing with this, I would say, I would say clone, if you create a virtual machine, clone the virtual machine, and then play around with this on a cloned virtual machine, just so you don't have to reinstall an operating system when you screw something up. When? When? So uh, so, uh, so there you go. Uh, as always, I enjoyed uh, doing this video, and look forward to seeing the next one.